Hi there, my name is Viboyo Oweyo, also known as Boyo Boyo, but originally Nsubuga Moses is my name. Viboyo is my stage name and it means visions beyond your own. I am a film producer and an artist working with Swangs Avenue. I've been in the industry for quite some time. Well, first and foremost, the word legend is subjective and... But, well, the point of the matter is why don't Ugandan artists make so many hits as they used to? Or I think people are making hits that people think are not lasting uh, because uh, the output is too high right now. Uh, too many artists. I mean, it's, too, it's, it, it, it's, it's a whole job to concentrate on one artist. Before you even finish a new song, before you even finish a, a song of three minutes, there's another song out already. Yeah? So it's the output, I think. It's the output. Back then, as we were growing up, we used to listen to the Fidel Tires and the Afrigos, and we could listen to the same music year in, year out, year in, year out. But it, it was because uh, the infrastructure back then, people didn't have access to record. Uh, people, well, recording all itself was a luxury. But now, anyone can record. A kid just needs a computer, and that's it. So it's the output. Too much music is coming out in too little time. I think that's one of the biggest problems why music is not lasting as it used to. It's, uh, it all comes back to survival. I know so many artists that are working together. Yeah? And the problem is you, the journalist, always ignore <laughs> the good ones that are working together and concentrate on the ones that are beefing with, with each other. But it's, it's a natural thing in, an, in all aspects of life. Even if you go to the arcades, you find people with the same shops and they don't talk to each other. Yeah? Like a person files threatens when they see competition against them. It's a natural aspect. Yeah? It's a man eat man world, like you know, <laughs> survival of the fittest. So if one one if you feel someone is threatening your bread, I mean all of us yes, it's natural. A person who will come into survival mode. I think I've been lucky that I placed myself in a, I'm in a position where even if I'm not singing, at least I'll get some visibility out there. I'm in a position where I've worked with peers, people my, people my age, uh, that are relevant to the industry and we are so connected that we had, uh, we, we had the same upcoming. And also, it's staying grounded. It's very important to stay grounded and disciplined. You have to know what to, where to go. You pick your battles. Pick your battles right. Um, another fact of longevity, I think, it also comes back to you as an individual. How do you work with people? I mean, there are so many of my friends that we come up with, and they are still alive, which is a blessing. They are still alive. But some lost plot. Some are drunkards. Some, all, some went into business, yeah? Some found uh, better earnings and they were like, no, the music. And, but some of us, it was like a calling. Music and this show business and the show business was like a calling. And luckily, I work with an organization of Swangs Avenue, which is entirely into entertainment, music-based entertainment. So I think those are some of the few factors that are helping me be here up to now. Actually, the idea of wrap-ups came from a friend of mine uh, it's called Ibra Deluxe. Back in the day, back in 2012, he was like, man, I like your style of music, but uh, there's this style of uh, people rapping about news events that happen in the yard. Yeah, he sold me the idea. It was a beautiful idea. So, and uh, also referring to the last question, why am I still relevant? I also needed something that would keep me not being fully active in the business, but at least something that I'll remind my fans out there or even get new fans out there every year with a song. And there was no better smart way than talking about what happens, events that happen in the year poll. So all socially, financially, politically, I mean, it's a whole collection of stuff. And you know, naturally people also love Lugambo. <laughs> so they find it attractive. You remind them of incidences that happened, let's say the bad blacks, let's say the sipapas, and they were, I mean, it's interesting topics and it has also helped me be here. A person being grounded is very important in whichever field you are. 
an artist will make a song and he will become a star in a week or a month or a year and then the fans will praise you and you will think you own the world you get you will think you own the world it's the same fans that are going to send you on your downfall it's the same fans that are going to send you on your downfall so it's very important for someone to be grounded also respectful and focused as a person you have to you must have a focus you also should know what you're going to do in a year in two years take yourself take your name as a company or a brand have a vision of where you're going yeah have a vision look ahead of yourself have a 10-year plan a five-year plan a three-year plan a two-year plan a one-year plan go break it down to a one-month plan i mean like because it's 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 a, it's a life we are it's a daily recurring thing so it's it's all about a person's planning being grounded and discipline also is very important anybody who wants to learn anything from someone look at the way they carry themselves i mean some of us have been in this industry and we people as much as people were fighting we stayed eh? we, we stayed away from fights you get so like i've been this it's i was seeing the same thing in, like a chorus anybody out there stay grounded stay focused stay disciplined have a vision for yourself always look at where you want to be tomorrow not where you are today well i think the youths are creative already in their own uh, in their own ways the youths are creative i mean you go to social media every day you see people coming up with crazy ideas every day see memes listen to the songs guys are coming up with look at the music videos kids are already creative it's only a few things remaining and maybe it's the government to come in and do this thing and chip in not like directly injecting cash but to help the youth for example things like data should be very cheap if you want a person to be as creative because it's if we are in an internet world now, right now everything moves rotates around that so if for example if a person could buy i'm just saying this for example if a person could buy a gb that at 1000 and it could last him two weeks trust me that already would be a driver that already would be a driver also if these guys could go back down from where they from from let's say nursery schools they teach us some of the things that are very relevant in in in, in life like I studied about the pre-release and never in my life has it ever benefited me. You get. Eh? So I think they should also be more practical in in, the, in, in teaching our okay, teaching our young people our young our young brothers and sisters be more practical. Be more practical. Have things that I mean cuz I mean when I say practical have keyboards in a school have laboratories computer labs have foot, have balls have all the things that are needed to, to develop a person is talent first and foremost drugs is very bad for you whoever is watching this drug abuse is very bad for you well we, 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 we uh, when we were growing up we had a saying in my crew it's not bad to try it it's only wrong to keep doing it because then <laughs> you're abusing it abuse is when you do the same thing over and over again so drugs should be a no go for anybody watching this it will not improve your talent it will only kill it it will only drain you uh, physically emotionally and you even become like a nuisance to the society you get so whoever thinks that drugs are going to help you develop your talent my dear friend wrong 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 I know so many very very successful artists that have never abused a single drug. Take an example of Bebe Cool. He's he's a superstar, he's big. Eh? He even talks to the president, but you will never see him smoke. Hmm? So, let's not even talk about drugs as anything that we should discuss. It's a no-go. It should be a no-go for anyone. To all the dream chasers out there. Uh in swangs we have something that drives us so we said the little we can do we must do don't wait for a big opportunity to start start now start small it's okay you don't need a million shillings even 10000 shillings can get you started only then you grow into a bigger bigger big 
some of us have been in this industry for over 25 years mm -hmm. and we used to back people when, when people see us they would think maybe because i have access to studios or cameras or what that they could wake up one day and boom, boom it's there no my friend it's whole work in itself like i like i've been telling you when you're focused make important friends friends that benefit you as a person also it's important because uh, it's the, the people that uh, the people that you keep the circles you keep the circles you keep uh, what determines what your outcome will be tomorrow or what you eat tomorrow it's very important keep friends that benefit you but also add fr value to your friends have friends that will add value to you but also be valuable to your friends stay off drugs stay focused start small don't wait don't wait for tomorrow start now do not procrastinate anything start now start small you grow into whatever you want to be and that's it.